When you initially look at this equation, you might think that since the absolute value of i is 1, these two equations are equal. But with imaginary numbers, that's not the case. To find the actual solution, we can construct an argand diagram. Since the modulus of i is 1, we can draw a circle of radius 1 on the graph. We can label each point on the graph as cosine of theta, i sine of theta. We can then rotate this point around the circle circumference until we reach our point i. We can see our point i has created an angle of pi over 2 with the x-axis. Plugging this into Euler's formula, we can see that e to the i pi over 2 equals cos pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2, which evaluates to 0 plus i. So i is equal to e to the i pi over 2. We can plug this back into our original equation. Remember that i times i is negative 1. We get that i is equal to e to the negative i pi over 2, which is in fact a real number.